All right, so now it's time to do the bottom half. Uh, I've got a couple of grounding busses, and I made them kind of long because in theory I'm supposed to bring them over to about here. So I want to give myself plenty of room. I'll, I'll angle them correctly and line them up correctly, but I've got plenty of extra space for that. So, And then I've got also all of my signal wires that go off of the main board into the different pots. I use blue wire for that. Uh, so I've got a bunch of blue wire for that as well. But the grounding wires, obviously, are, I always do black. So I'm going to do that now. And I ran out of time as I got to the last little bit of this stuff, so you're going to have missed a little bit of that. But I didn't realize my uh, limit is 30 minutes of video, so it ended up stopping. I'm going to have to probably start setting myself timers for that stuff. Okay, so here's the first one that's a grounding wire, or not a grounding wire, but it goes off to the speed pot. Where I have to be a little careful because the grounding wire is right there, and I'm going to be connecting it into this... Uh, this segment up in here. So I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that I don't have any of the bare wire anywhere close to that when I do it, so. And yet here's another one that I also need to be very careful with. Actually, I have to, there's another one here. I've got a little bit longer one. I have to connect this one into kind of here. I don't know if that's visible, but up into here. So what I'm gonna try and do is very carefully kind of sweep it through like this and hook it so that it's kind of underneath things and out of the way, because it does come off, according to the schematic, across under like this one here and down. So I'll try and replicate that and be very careful about it. I'm just gonna hook it. I'm not gonna, you know, if you've seen me, I've been doing the bend as well as the hook, but now I'm just gonna do the hook because I don't want to be fighting there. That should be good. And that is kind of dangling in a weird way there, but that's just because that does come off to attach to the uh, selection pot. The, the depth pot also has a toggleable switch that switches basically between vibrato and tremolo mode. So that one's good. And now, like I said, this one's the one I got to be a little careful again. I've got these grounding wires going right next to them. So I have to be really cautious to make sure I have shielding between me and it there. Oh, it looks like I missed a drill hole right here for this ground. Um, so, I guess I better quickly get a bit and do that one. All right, so I got that quickly drilled because I missed it. I ha did cut a wire for it, but there's got to be one to this ground and then one to this ground. So I've got the two wires and I have the holes. And, uh, oh, I actually need two more cables here for the top cut that I missed somehow in my county, so I'm not gonna do those as well, I'll do those blue. But let's get the grounds in. Now, if you'll notice there, if it's not too blurry, there's two more holes here. I'm not gonna do those yet because I have a, uh, those are gonna come from my, uh, 
B plus rail and my you know output transformer, a couple of things. So those wires I will run at the time that it's kind of in the board and bring them in kind of carefully. So that's something that will come in kind of from the underside and wire in. So um, I'll have to maybe try and figure that out real time when I'm there. You guys will watch me do that. But um, let's go ahead and solder that last ground in. Now I want to do a quick visual inspection once more to make sure everything looks soldered. And there you have it. That is done. So we can go ahead and shut the fan off and turn my soldering iron off. What I'm gonna do is get a little bit closer shot now of the completed board, kind of top down view, so that that is a little bit uh, easier for you to see. And uh, we'll come back here in a moment. Okay, so there's the finished version of the board with all the wiring. And, uh, and then what I'm gonna effectively be able to do is finish the wiring in the chassis, everything that needs to be done. Uh, and then I'll be able to drop this guy straight in and then just start hooking it up to all the component parts and be done. So. Looking very good. As I think I mentioned before, the grounding bus will kind of tie these two points together somewhere over in here. So I've given them plenty of room. So you can see those kind of will tie in somewhere in here. And then each of these, oh, I'm sorry, that, that was the wrong one. This is the one. These two will tie somewhere in here into a grounding point. And then these guys will each have their own separate grounding points that will go off that way. But, uh, well, wires are all hooked up. Next step is gonna be to put it into the chassis. So we'll let you know where, we'll show you how that goes when we're there. <laughs> 